One take. Progressive soccer, Dylan Tooby. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. We're in the park with Tylee. We do a whole bunch of shooting variations. Her shooting has improved so much, and a lot of players, especially young players, can improve very quickly if they just get the right coaching cues at the right time. So we're gonna do a bunch of variations, different drills, but to start, we're gonna do super basic. Tyler, you've done this a whole bunch of times. Let's start here on your right foot. I just want you to come up here. All I'm gonna do is roll it into your path. I just want you to shoot, good technique, yes. Flex foot, keep your ankle, your foot locked through the ball, but lock out the whole leg. No bends in the knees, no bends in the foot. Lock out the whole leg, keep it locked through the ball, and what do I want your body positioning? Body positioning, leaning over the ball. Don't lean back, ready? And the way you approach the ball, quick footwork, attack the ball, attack the ball. Good, backtrack, good. Ready, go get reps, get warmed up. Lock it out, toes down. Look at the center of the ball. Yes, beautiful, do it like that every time. Look at the ball until you hit it, don't look at the net. Yes, go again. Good. There's a hole in the net, that was top corner. Yes, that's good again, that's the top corner, don't worry about it. Fall through to the net. Good, very good. Good, okay. Just jog for me, reset. Starting super basic before we go into the more advanced drills. But for some players, especially if they're struggling with shooting technique, basic technique, making good contact with the ball, there's no point in doing that other stuff with combination play and different types of finishes if they can't even get that good technique right and left foot. So a younger player, I might just do this, might just do five different sets on each side. Good, that's fine. Love the way you attack that ball though. You don't wait for it, you go to it. Yeah, again, keep it flex is very good, cool. Yep, find the center of the ball, find the center of the ball, flex through it, yes. And body over, don't lean back. Again. Good, very good, go again. Go, one more, best one. Flex, keep that flex, lock the whole leg out through the ball. Yes, good. Okay, reset the balls, go get the far ones. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. We're gonna progress. If I felt she wasn't making good contact, she wasn't having good enough shots, we'd stay there, we'd do more sets, but her contact was good, her technique was good. We're gonna move on, okay? Tyler, all I'm gonna do here, let me start on this side. I'm gonna play you a ball. Play, I want you to play back one more time. I'm gonna take a touch past the defender and then I'm gonna take my shot on net. Yes, come back, other side. Play, good first touch. Strike on the net, okay? Ready, on your toes. Good, pass, here you go, first touch. Pass, attack, big swing, good. If your touch is bad, you hit it anyways. Adjust your feet, hit it anyways. But weight of touch, run with your first touch. Play again. First touch, pass the defender, yes, and attack it. Good, beautiful, cool. Again, play. Here you go. Run with that first touch, into space, yes. Perfect, best one, go again. Good, Tyler, keep it going. Again, first touch, yes. Love it, go, keep going. Keep that toe down, especially on your right side. Your left's looking better with your flex. Love it. And that's when you get in that clean contact, it's coming off your foot nice and strong. Go flex through, lean over it. Good. Ready, play again. Last one, last one, best one. Good first touch, run with it, get there. Love it, very good. 
Okay, reset. We're gonna move on by just a few coaching cues on this one before we move to the next drill. So most important here, we're working on that first touch before a shot. A lot of players that get in these situations, I'm already thinking about shooting before I've set myself for the shot. Sometimes the most important thing you can do to score goals is not what you do with the shot, it's what you do before the shot. Play. So if my touch is bad here, this is a tough shot for me to hit. And it's also tough for me to get past the defender. If I'm in these situations and I'm taking one, two, three, four touches to set myself before I shoot, the opportunity is usually gone. So what I'm really focusing on here is, I know it's time to score, get it out of my feet and step into the bowl. Also, it's the way she attacks the bowl because a lot of players play. I can have a good first touch, but now I'm up here and I'm kind of trotting into the bowl, jogging into the bowl. It's never going to be as good as if you have quick footwork and attack the bowl. Okay, so I'm really focusing on out of my feet, on top of the bowl, attack the bowl. Quick footwork into the bowl. If you're taking big, heavy steps into your shot, it's never going to be as powerful as nice, quick footwork attacking the bowl. I don't need to demo. You're good enough, smart enough to pick it up. I'm going to play the same. Play here, play back to me. I'm just gonna set this here and you're gonna hit it first time. Okay, beautiful. Ready, go back, other side. On your toes, play again, play in. Left foot, get around it. Yeah, nice, look at this girl. Go again. Go, attack the ball. That's okay, that's okay. I want you to go again, fix it, fix it on your right. Play, lean over it more, follow through, not up. Yep, that's okay, I can score. Play, 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 get there, attack. Love it, keep going, keep going. Flex that foot down. Good, look at this. Come on, again. Go, quick feet, quick feet. Love it, keep going. Go. Good, go again. One more, last one. Can you have quality when you're tired? Again, again, play me again, play me again. Go, come, get there, get there, get there. Good. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. So this one we were doing first time shots, one timers. And uh, sorry Tyler, just come on this side. Swap that ball, I don't like that one. Play here, okay? So play with me. So when I'm doing a one time shot, and just try to play it right through there, don't hit the balls. Okay, when I'm doing a one-time shot, I'm running to the ball, my focus becomes so much more important. It should always be important, but when that ball is traveling and I'm hitting it first time, if I set it here, it's a little easier for me to swing at. The faster that ball is coming, the more I have to actually focus on the ball. Play here and play me through here. Okay, I should be watching that ball, watching my foot meet the ball until I make contact. So many players, especially one-timer, they're going to swing and before they even hit it, they're already looking up. They're already looking up at the net, they've already lost control of their body. So when it's a one-timer, take a bit of your power off. The faster that ball comes at me, the less power I need, the more technique I need. So focus on the ball, eye contact on the ball until it meets your foot. Don't look at the net, focus on the ball until you make contact. The other one is your body positioning, your body control. If I'm going to hit that one-timer, and my body is, I'm losing control because I'm running forward, it's gonna be hard for me to control that shot. So really focus on keeping your body still, keeping your shoulders locked towards the target. Keeping your body still on top of it. Okay, and like I said, the faster her pass comes, the less power I need, the more technique I need. Okay, now we're gonna shoot off a dribble. So I just wanna start like this. Tylee, play me a pass in here. After you play your pass, I want you to come in front of that pole you're gonna be me, that's Robbie. And you just stand there, you're just gonna be like a passive defender, okay? So go back, play the pass. Play the pass and then just step in front of that cone. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna receive on this side, play right back into me. Play right back in front of that cone. Do it one more time. And I want you to play a hard pass right back into me. Okay, so first touch here, come here. Good, now I'm going at you. I just want a little bit of skill and a strike on that, okay? Vary your skill, do something different every time. Okay, first touch across, play here. Come in front and get it, yes? Let's see, slow. 
touch, play, good. Now attack me, skill, hit, good. Okay, grab those two quick. Okay, and look here, when you play that, when you play that, you receive it on this side, when you play this pass, don't run in here. Play it here, come on the other side of the cone. Make sense? Go right and left each time. Do one more time, yeah? Play. Think, you're smarter. Focus, you know what you're doing, play. One touch. Good, other side of the cone. Good, attack me now. There you go, now you got it. Yep, and hit. Good, beautiful, that's a goal. So play, touch, play that pass, quick movement around, ready? Touch, play, there you go, now attack, now attack. Good, and swing. Yes, that's okay. Lean over that shot. Play, play, go, come, come, come. Good, good, okay, show me some different skills now. If it's, if it's too close to me, use that skip touch, but show me a bit of skill, be creative. Come, come, speed. Yeah, and swing. Good, okay, practice. Practice, it's different, it's realistic. Go again, come on. You're confident, be confident, be confident. Go on, with speed. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate. Yes, there you go. Good, recovery, yes, beautiful. Put. Good, swing. Yes, lean over it more, swing through it. Touch, play, come on, come on, come on. Good, yep, okay, but you're getting tired and you're leaning back too much on your shots. Get over it and explode through the ball. Here you go, show me, show me. Yep, good, good, swing though, swing though. It's a tired shot. This ball wants to come back, it wants to get hit again with better technique, more power. Cool. Big swing. Yes, look at that. Cool, last one. Do it like that. Good, through it, through it, through it. Good, well done. So, took her a few repetitions to, to get the drill, of course, but also to remove her hesitation in here. There's a big difference between shooting from a standstill, shooting from a first touch, shooting one timer, and also shooting off the dribble or shooting after a skill move. Okay, so a lot of players in these situations, this is where you score your goals. And the way you're gonna score more goals is removing that hesitation. So I'll just use this pull as a defender, but when I'm in these situations and I get here at top of the box and I'm hesitant, I don't know where to go, that opportunity is often lost. You're not gonna score goals, you're not gonna make tackles. Sometimes the best skill is just a touch and a hit, okay? So when you're in these situations, it's better to be direct than overcomplicate the play. I can do moves if I make up my mind early and I do it without hesitation. It's better for me to do my move too early than it is too late and get in the feet of the defender. So when you're in these one-on-one -on -one situations, just remind yourself, don't hesitate, just go. And remember, sometimes I don't even need a move. I just need a good change of direction, get my shot off quickly. One more thing about that. She's going, she's doing high reps, she's starting to get tired. What happens when we get tired is our shooting technique starts to go. We start just kind of swinging our leg at the ball rather than focusing on what we're doing. It's so important you have that mental focus when you're tired. You did all the hard work. You won the ball, you played a combination, you did a little bit of skill, and now it's time to shoot and you're tired and you're heavy and you kind of just let yourself go. That is the most important part for you to remain focused. So regardless of how tired you are, you have to summon a little bit of focus, a little bit of energy for that final product. So when it's time to shoot, regardless of how tired you are, get away from this and come into this body over the ball, attack the ball, those two steps, make positive steps towards the ball. Okay, swing towards your target. Body's going forward, it's not tired, it's not backwards, it's forward, it's attacking the ball, it's moving towards the net. All you're gonna do is start here every time. I'm gonna make a bit of movement here, but as soon as I come around this corner, now I'm quick, now I'm alive, and just focus 
on getting over that ball, okay? We'll practice the technique, I'll give you advice, but jog, 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 here, come alive. Sprint past the defender, attack the space. Okay, let's do these five. Yeah, it's a different technique. It should be easy, but unless you practice, it can be very difficult. Ready, go. Good. Okay, I'll change the service, be a different, adapt. Hit. Good, look at this. First time finish every time. If you're taking touches in the box, usually the opportunity is gone. Good, Tally, go one more. Yes, adapt. So with all these drills, if I'm feeling that she's doing really well, we can always progress to the next one. If we're struggling with the technique, don't rush through it. Sometimes we might have to do one drill the whole session until you actually see the improvement. But as long as you're positive and re-encouraging, kids can stick with a few drills. They need to see that progression. And you, need, you can't get frustrated with them. If you get frustrated with them as a coach, they're gonna get frustrated as a player. Different shooting variations, starting with very basic, progressing to a little more advanced, and just shooting from different angles. So many players, they come out to the field and all they do is set a ball down and hit dead balls, hit free kicks. Realistically, in a game, you might not have any free kicks, but you'll have all different types of variations and opportunities to get your shot off. So it's so important you become comfortable shooting in different ways, right and left foot, off the turn, off a of first touch, first time. And whenever you have an opportunity to take a shot in the game, I want you to take it. You will never regret shooting and missing the net. I promise you, you will regret having an opportunity to shoot and hesitating or passing to a teammate. Sometimes you gotta play the pass, but if you wanna be a goal scorer, I need you to be a little greedy in front of goal. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you in the next one. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.